This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught by the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I'm about to receive the incorruptible, the indestructible, ever living seed of the Word of God. I will never be the same again. Never, never, never. In Jesus' name. Amen. Kamayan mo yung katabi at sabihin mo, pagpalain ka ng Panginoon sa amin. Nakakaw po na tayo mga kapatid, no? May the Lord God bless the reading of His Word this morning. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, or morning ba? Afternoon? Morning pa rin. Morning pa rin. Morning pa rin. Morning pa rin. Praise the Lord. This morning, we will be discussing that subject that says, eliminating the hindrances of receiving. Anong topic na ito? Anong team natin for this month? Receive. Receive. Okay, receive. If our theme is about receiving, then we have to understand that there are things that hinders our receiving process. There are hindering our receiving process. Now let's start to read our Bible in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 11 to 18. Pakibasa po, tulungan niyo po ako. Go! We are the Lord of God, and that we be His Son, and His judgment is God, 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 and His judgment is God,
okay. No, I now let's start to study. Bakit hindi ako yumaman? Bakit hindi ako umusan yung buhay? Because there are hindrances that stops us to receive from the Lord. Amen. Did you know that? Now, hindi ko kayo bibigay ng mahawang sinabi. Dalawa lang ang sagot natin dyan. Go! There are two choices. First, the most natural trust of the Lord. And second, the Okay, ba? Dalawa lang. Because you cannot be trusted with this money, at pangalawa, because you don't have faith in God. Yes, amen. Now, sa isayin natin itong dalawa, ha? Unahin muna natin yung una. Because we cannot be trusted by this money. Binigyan na ba tayong magpapala? Amen. Yes, amen. Ang tanong na pagkatiwalaan ba tayo sa pagpapala? Amen. Yun lang. Yun lang. Now, let's start. Anong una? Because we cannot be trusted with this money, there are the four things. Pride, we forget God. Ito yung minasal natin kanina eh. Tama po ba? Loving money and wrong spending. Isa-isahin natin? Okay ba? Isa-isahin natin? Amen. Tapos, sagutin niyo ko, bahala na kung matamaan. Okay ba? Sige na, go. Bahala na kung matamaan. Bahala na kung matamaan. Okay. Okay. Okay na ba matamaan tayo sa mga asawa ko ito? This word! Know this word! Para matuto! Because if we will not be, you know, if we will not learn this, if I will not teach this, I am making hindrances to your blessings. Yes, amen? Let's start! Because we cannot be trusted with this money. Why we cannot be trusted? Because we have pride. Chicken. No? Another. Pride! Ano sabi ng Deuteronomy 8.14? Then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord thy God which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. God said, Baka pagpilakain ko na kayo, Baka pagmagroon, magkaroon na kayo ng maraming resources, magmamayabang na kayo sa sarili nyo. At sabihin nyo, Ako, sa lakas ko, ang galing ko talaga sa negosyo, kaya ikaw usan. Hindi yan sa galing mo. Pagpapala din niya ng Panginoon. Hindi yan ang tayo ang abiling sa mga bagay na yun. So ano? Ante daw. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whether it be great or small. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Because the moment that we say thank you, we recognize that it is not our own effort, but God Himself giving us the strength to acquire all those things. Amen. I don't know, kung nabasa niyo ba yung post ko sa Pentecostals of Jordan? Yes, Pastor. Nakatanggap ako ng pagpapala, mga kapatid, we are praying no words. Sabi, na, sabi ko sa misis ko, within this month, full budget natin ha, limited. So, ano nangyari? Di? Basta limited. Kasi kung hindi nakabudget, hindi dapat just to save. Yan yung sinabi ko sa kanya. No? So, kailangan magbawas tayo sa full budget natin. Di ba? Ay, pero kaya ba man? So, we just simply said, okay, let us pray. Let us pray. Lord, supply all our needs. Kinabukasan, may tumawag. Pastor OG, would you meet me? Uh, somewhere, I, I want to talk to you something. You know? yeah, no. Sabi ko, ano pa naman kaya ito? Ang international pa naman. Sabi ko, oh, sige, sige. Uh, usap tayo. Uh, wag lang dito sa bahay kasi magulo pa sa bahay. Sa office na lang, sa church. So I bring him here. You know, like dito kami nagkita. Kunting pintuhan, ang mga business, how things are going on. Then afterward, bumunot ng soul break. Wow. Sabi ko, Pastor, yeah. I want to support you in the ministry. Maritin ito. Pero ay ito na tinitig mo. And I said, Brother, thank you. Thank you. God, you should. Thank you. Sabi niya, maliit lang yan, Pastor. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Maliit pa yan malaki. Kasi hindi ko binuksan eh. Sabi ko, it doesn't matter. Maliit ko. Laki lang yan. Maliit. As far as I know, binamit ka ng Panginoon. Amen. 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 God will supply all our needs. Amen. Hallelujah. Ano sa sabihin mo sa anak mo, binigyan mo ng 20 GD? Ano ba ito? 20 GD lang? Sa susunod, binigyan ka pa kaya? Hindi na. Hindi na. What we are expecting? Thank you. Thank you. Pero kung halimbawa ang anak natin nagmamakto nung binigyan natin, ano mangyari? We don't want to give. You are so proud. Yeah. No? Eh, ito lang binigay mo, inaglinis ka ako doon. Ganito yung ginawa ko, baby chin nila. 
Oh, di ba? Sabi, ba ng anak mo? Oo. Nag-wait lang. Eh, ikuan, gulang ba, gulang? Mama, lang ka ba, gulang ba? Snap? 20 JD yan. 1,200 yan. Tara ka, nagbinila mo sa piso eh. Di ba? Naalala ko tuloy yung incident sa bahay namin. One day, sabi ng papa. Bo, Uh, this week, kumunta ka ba ng ministry mo? Uh, kasi mga binata pa kami dyan yung natin ng Christa Kita Christa. Sabi na kuya ko. Kailangan ko lang, siguro mga kaya tao sa, ah, ang tama na, kung pinang hindi mo ganun mo laki. Pinigyan ng 5,000 ng papa ko. Eh, nagali. Sabi ng papa ko, anong bibigyan mo sa mundo? Bakit mo kailangan ng 5,000? Uh, bakit mo kailangan ng mas malaki pa kasi 5,000? Diba kasi ganito, iiwan ko yung motor ko doon, sino magbabantay, tapagdating ko doon, ganito ganyan. Sabi na papa ko, Bong, ano ba yan? Ministry o manistry? Iyan lang mo naman pa sa bukit na walang walang offering kasi ganito ganyan. Ang post ko naman po, no? Maswerte ka na kung mag-5 pesos ka na offering with that week. It's true! In the mountain, and that's where our ministry is. Kaya kumukuha kami ng funding sa papa namin. So ano nangyari? Sabi na papa ko, Bong, sa susunod, di ka na makakatanggap. So my brother said, Ma, thank you. Big man changed money. Thank you, Ma. Because when we change our attitude with regards to money, and we start to become thankful for the blessings, what will happen? Better things will be added. Amen. And when my brother started to become thankful of what he received, alam niyo anong pinagbinigay ng papa ko? Binigyan siya ng sariling kamayo. Binigyan na sariling lupa. Oh my goodness. That's how the earthly father will bless his children. How much more our heavenly father will be able to bless his children. Amen. God is really a good God. He's a good father. Pero mag-ingat lang kayo sa pride. Baka sabihin natin, aha, yung relo ko, Rolex, kaya to. Talagang, kahit nakalusit, talagang tutupi eh, para makita ang yung Rolex eh. Tapos di ba is kaya itong pantalon ko? Tapos dito lang talaga yung tinaas eh, para makita lang yung bag eh. Kasi di ba is eh. It's not about the brand, it's about who you are. Kisan ko lang yung ganito lang yung kasimple eh. Kung tatabi ako kay Gokong Wei, fake yung Rolex ko sa kanya, totoo, sa talaga yung... Ulit-ulit, tama ba? Fake yung sa kanya, sa akin yung totoo, sa palagay niyo, sino kaya paniniwalaan na may tunay na Rolex? Yung sa kanya. Yung sa kanya, kasi gokong wi yan eh. Nakuha niyo ang point? It doesn't yes. matter what you wear. Amen. Amen. What matter is who you are. Yes. Hindi mo ikaw ang may dinner, kahit magsuot ka pa ng fake, walang nakikialam sa'yo. Ngayon, kahit magsuot ka pa ng mamahaling go, walang maniniwalang makakabili ka niyan. Magsuot ka ng mamahaling rilo, Rolex kaya to. Hindi sila maniniwalang siya. Paano ka makakabili? Nagkukuntug ka lang ng tubita. <laughs> Baka hinira mo lang, baka hinapaw mo lang yan. Tama ba? No one will believe you. So what matters most is who we are. Be what we become, giving God the glory in everything that we receive. Sabi ni the Lord, natanggap ko ang mapagpapalang ito dahil ikaw ang Diyos na nagbibigay sa akin. Glory to God. Ano yung pangalawa kanina? Pagkalimu sa Diyos na forgetting God. Then thine heart be lifted up and Don't forget the Lord thy God. Baka kalimutan ang Diyos. Ilang misis tayo, nung nagkaroon ng pagpapala, hindi na nakita, bakit? Nandoon, disco, disco! Inom! Ano po ba? Pasyal muna! Kasi may pera pa, nung wala ng pera! Nung nung wala ng pera, fisting, pista! Nung wala ng pera, fasting. Nakakalimot na sa Diyos. Ilang bisis ba tayo nakakalimot sa Diyos? So ano ka din o? Ilisan natin. Huwag kalimutan ang mga liwa ang magtitipo. Hindi mo ba? Remember the Lord always. Another, loving money. Hindi mo masama ang pera. Ang pagmamahal sa pera ang masama. Use your money and love the people. Huwag balik ka rin. Ano yung balik ka nun? Love your money, use the people. Yun yung balik na. Kasi ang sabi ng Bible, for the love of money, hindi po money ha, but the love of money is the root of all evil. Take note, 
that most of the people transfer their love from the Father to the resources of the Father. Ano nangyari sa prodigal sa naalala nyo? Hinati, sabi niya, Ama, gusto ko yung kunin yung inheritance ko. Siguro kung ako yung mga buhay pa, ako pinatay mo na. Pinakilan mo na makukuha ang mana, ay patay na yung magulang. Pero ito, itong anak na ito, sabi niya, kunin ko na yung mana ko. Buhay pa yung ama. Anong ibig mo sa'yo? Parang pinatay mo na ako. So anong ginawa ng anak? Winalas lahat ng pera. Walang wisdom sa pera, di ba? Winalas lahat ng resources niya. Kumain. Nang masasarap. Naggala. Kahit ano na lang ginagawa sa pera. At nung naubos, anong ginawa? Bumalik sa ama. Nakalimutan niya na meron siya ka lang nagmamahal pa rin sa kanya. Sabi niya, kahit tawagin mo na lang akong katulog, okay na sa akin. Pakabalik na ako sa ama. The problem is not money itself. Yes. But our attitude towards money. Yes. What is our attitude? Because money is important. Ama ba? Ito lang pera. Because it will sustain the important things in our lives. But if we love money greater than we love God, that's the problem. Because we cannot serve to master, we cannot love God and mammon. Pera ang mammon. So ano ibig sabihin doon? We cannot serve money! But money can serve us. Because money is an obedient and faithful servant to the wise owner. Amen. Let it go. Money is a faithful and obedient servant to the wise owner. Who is that wise owner? We. We. Ako. Sabi mo, ako. Ako. You are the wise owner. But if you are not wise, ano mangyayari niyan? <laughs> you will serve money. In return. So, ano ang uh, ating no? Ano nga mo? Seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Ulahin ang Diyos. Susunod lang yan. Magpapano niyan. Seek the blesser and the blessing. Because if we will seek the blessing first than the blesser, what will happen? Baliktad na po ang tapo niya. Ang apat. Wrong spending. Impulse buying. Please read, go. Ye kill and desire to buy, and cannot obtain. You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss. Consume it upon your own. Okay. The word amiss means in vain. You ask, you are asking in vain. Lord, bigyan mo ako ng helicopter. Bakit? Para payapangin ko yung kapitbahay ko. Helicopter pa talaga yung hingin mo, ha? And you use it to consume your lust. Ano yung sa Tagalog yung lust? Yung bang pipi? Hindi, eh. Nakalimutan ko yung term kanina. Nasa isip ko na eh. Desire yung, yung, yung word niya. It's just, hindi lang basta pananasa. It's, it's greater than that. No? Lipi? Uh, yung, yung gusto yung, yung, yung pananasa yun nga, gamitin na natin yung pananasa mas madali yan pananasa ng laman oh, yung luho, yung gusto because you use it no, lahat mo gusto na sa sakit gusto ko lang, parang feeling rich di ba? Uh, it's about feelings anyway but what is the antidote for that? Ano? Budgeting, saving, and investing. So, tingnan natin yung resources natin. Ano na bang nangyari sa resources natin at pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Lord? Kasi kung hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan dyan, yung sinabi na una, di ba? Ang naging tayo bakit hindi tayo nakakatagap? Dahil hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan. Bakit? We have this wrong spending. Hindi tamang paggamit sa resources na pinagkaloob. What do you mean by hindi tamang paggamit sa resources na pinagkaloob? What do you mean with that? Hindi naman kailangan. Hindi naman kailangan, binili mo. Tapos naka, nakalagay dyan, ano gawin mo siya? Ah, ah i-garant sa'yo ko yan. Binili mo na siya ng mahal, inibinta mo ngayon ng mura. Because items are depreciating. Right? Binili mo siya ng mahal, pero binita mo, hindi mo na so, may tanpa. Oh, sige. Binta ko. Magkano binili mo niya? Five, uh, pagpalagay mo lang natin ha, taas na lang natin. One hundred JD. Ah, mahal naman natin. Pero tiyak ko. 
ah, bit ako lang to ng NGD baka. Nag-depression ang laki, no? Hindi mo pa naisuot, wala. Wala na. Kung hindi mo pa nagamit yung wrist item na yun. So, always look at it. Check your spending habits. Start to budget, start to save, and start to invest. Basta paano yun? Sumari naman yung saving at saka investing yun. Of course! Kung hindi tayo mag-iipon, sino mag-iipon para sa'yo? Yung pinapanalan mo sa Pilipinas, maniwala ako sa'yo. Well! Well! Yung pinala, basta mag-iipon daw sila eh. Hindi nila ng kalabaw. Namatay yung kalabaw. Pag-uwi mo, ano nga yan? Namatay yung kalabaw, pinamigay namin yung karmi. Eh wala nga talaga nabilis ako isang palang. Sinabi lang na kabili. Para hindi ka magalit. See? Kung, sin, kung hindi tayo magsisame at hindi tayo mag-invest, sino mag-invest para sa iyo? Wala. Then start now. Amen. Kung meron ngayon doon nagkwan, gusto magpamintin doon sa kanilang uh, ano yan, bukirin, at sabi na, gusto kong magpa-finance, o di finance mo. Yun na lang, pambigas mo sa mag-inan mo doon, sa mag-ano mo doon, di ba? This is a simple way. Madaling, madaling imatibatik. So, huwag na tayo mag-usap ng stocks, bonds, at saka mutual fund. Malilito lang kayo niya. <laughs> Hindi ko muna mag-usapan niya. But I want, I want the simple aspect of bad, budgeting, saving, and investing. For being here for a year, we try to manage our resources. And I said to the Lord, Lord, pinagkatiwalaan mo kami sa maliliit na bagay. Gusto kong pagkatiwalaan mo kami ng mas malaki pang bagay. And I understand na kung halimbawa makontrol natin yung spending habits natin, God will bless us more. Amen. Alam niyo bakit? Pag nakikita ng Lord na nagsisave tayo sa palagay na hindi kayo maaawang Lord, ang ako, ang late lang ang kita, 100 niya lang yan, pero kinukunan niya lang pang savings. Do you think hindi kaya nakakatingin, nakakita ang Lord niya? At sabihin, ah, sige nga, si Kwan, Mrs. Kwan, patawagin ko nga sa kanya para hindi kaya siya ng pera. O di ba? Kaya yung mga nakakabisa, sabihin nila, punta ka nga sa bahay, punasan mo nga ito. Nung pagkatapos mo punasan, binigyan ka agad ng 100 dollars. Yun na pinunasan ko, binigyan ako ng 100 dollars. Ano ba yun? Because it's God's favor. And sometimes, iniisip na rin, kasi mabait ang pasok. Hindi na rin mabait ka. May favor lang si Lord sa'yo, kaya na lang siya sa pagpapalala na yun. God will only bless those people who are trying to help themselves. In what way? By budgeting, saving, and investing. Ano na kayo para sa pangalawa? Amen. Okay. Second is because we don't have faith in Him. Yun yung pangalawang rason. Dahil wala tayong pananampalataya sa Panginoon, hindi tayo nakakatanggap. Kapit naman yun, Pastor, pananampalataya lang, hindi ako nakatanggap. Yes, it is. Sinabi mo ng Panginoon na bilang mong anak, tatanggap tayo? Bakit hindi tayo nakakatanggap? Pananampalataya. Ano yung pananampalataya? Faith is taking God at His word. Pag sinabi ng Lord, gagawin ko yan, Lord. Sinabi mo yan, ha? Gagawin ko yan. Sige, kung hindi mo gagawin. If God will pull, uh, if we will do our part, God will do His part. Amen. God's promises are true. Amen. When He has promised to bless us, He will do it Amen. accordingly. When we do our part, of course, we will increase. No? Magsisay tayo, mag- mag-increase tayo. But if we will do the way that God blesses us, it will also happen to us. Yes. Now, basahin natin ito. Pakibasa. Mabasa po ba sa likod? Okay, pakibasa. Now, we have the best speaking. It's the best time. Now, we have the best time. Now, we have the best time. And let the best time be promised. And the best time be promised. Oh, this is the the faith. Okay. And when we have the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the Lord the Simon, Simon Pedro, lunch out, pumunta ka doon sa lao, at ilag i i ang tawag ito? Oh, cast your net into the right way, into the right direction. No, into the right. He said, into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Sabi niya, let down your nets, that is this command. And he said, 
Paul adopt para makakuha kayo. Promise. Right? There is a command and there is a promise. Yes, amen. Gawin mo ito at ito ang gagawin ko. Hello. Now, he said, and Simon answering a dream, Master, we have told you, buong gawin kami at ang nangingis na hindi yan sa umaga, gawin po yan. Ano ang pray ni Jesus Christ? Ano trabaho niya? He's, he's, not, he's not really a fisher. Oh, he's not a fisher. He's a carpenter by train. You know? Ano alam niya sa fishing? The question is, ano alam niya sa fishing? Pwede sabihin ni Pedro nito. Ano pa? Ano alam mo? Eh, kapintero ka eh. Kami, matagal na kami naniingis na. Pag sinabing wala, wala talaga yan. Matagal na kami sa carpentry, uh, sa, sa fishing na, na trade. Tapos sabihin mo, Ay, this is my personal point of view, ha? Hindi yan sinabi ni Pedro. Pero siguro, sa isip-isip niya, totoo kaya to. Kaya sinabi ni Jesus Christ, let down your nets. Singular or plural? Plural. 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 More than one. More than one. Dalawa. Yun yung sabi, ha? At sinabi ni Pedro, Lord, matagal kami, but because you have said it, at thy word, he's taking the word of God, and he said, I will let down, what? Singular, singular. Sumagod niya siya by faith, pero ulan But still, God honors that one, right? Kahit maliit na faith yun, but still, God honors our faith. Amen. Ang sabi ng Lord, next. Ang kinas ni Simon, <laughs> So, anong nangyari? <laughs> and when we have this done, the enclosed great multitude of fishes under, <laughs> isa nga lang talaga siya. Masira, buti ka na makawala ang pagpapala kasi ayaw sumunod sa pagpapala. Amen. <laughs> they take the word of the Lord, but they don't obey it willfully. Para masirap, magbigay ka ng ikaw, magbigay ka 9% lang muna, Lord. Wag mo ng pen. <laughs> oh, yes, the Lord still will bless you. But the Bible tells us, they cast the net. Hindi nets. That's not enough. That's not what the Lord requires for you as the partnership with God. Now, taking the word of the Lord, right? Are we taking the word of God? Mark. ano sabi ng Mark? Jesus answering saying unto him, have faith in God. Ano sinabi siya? And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Kung naniniwala ka sa Diyos, nagagawin niya ang kanyang mga sinasabi, mangyayari yan sa buhay mo. Amen! Ang sinabi niya, pagpapalain kita, pagpapalain tayo ng Diyos. Amen. Kung ating gagawin ang kanyang sinasabi. Amen. Sinabi mo yan, Lord, gagawin ko yan, at alam kong gagawin mo yung gusto mong gagawin Amen. sa buhay ko. Tingnan niyo ito. Sige nga, pwede niyo po ba ipagpatuloy na basahin? Ba't siya believe things to us? He shall have whatsoever he says. You will have whatsoever he says. Meron pa bang, meron bang excuses na, ah, hindi yan ibibigay ng Lord? No, no, no. no. Kung ano man ang sasabihin mo, it will keep the Lord will keep. Sinabi niya, verse 24. Sinabi niya ba? Ah, yung iilang lang, but he said, what things so ever you decide. Yes, amen! Anong so said? When you pray, believe, what is the name? Taking God of His word, that you receive them, and ye shall have them. God promised that word, but sometimes people don't believe in it. In what may tayo, hindi tayo naniniwala sa Diyos? When the Lord says something, we sometimes doubt the Lord. Minsan, nagluluda tayo sa sinasabi ng Lord. Ganun kaya niya ito? Hallelujah. Hindi siguro. Prove your faith through your action. Amen. Now, ano natin ipaprove yan, no? Anyway, why faith is important? Because without faith, is it, 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 it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11.6. Next verse. Yan. I have shown you all things how that laboring you to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord and said, it is more to give than to receive. But sometimes we are thinking, kailangan ko muna makatanggap bago ako magbigay. Right? 
Sometimes we are thinking, kailangan lumaki muna. Kung may 1 million na sana ako, pasto, hindi ko talaga yung 100,000 eh. Yung 100 GD lang, hindi ka makapagbigay ng team eh. Yung 1 million pa, magbibigay ka ng 100,000, it's quite impossible, right? When you cannot give with a small amount, how can the Lord give you with the greater things? It is more blessed to give than to receive. Now, give! Luke 6.38. Ano sinabi ng Bible? But with the same measure that you meet, with it, it shall be measured to you again. This measuring cup is not based on the amount. Sabi niyo, mas pagpapalain siya, Pastor, bakit 1,000 GD yung binigay? Kung million naman ang kita niya, do you think? Will it subsidize? It should be based on what is left, not is what you give. Now, the same measure you give will be given back to you. Yes. Pero ba kung lagayan dito? Okay. I have here a measurement. Kahit anong dagdag mo ng oil dito, mapupuno siya, tama ba? Pero matakas siya ba dito ang isang litro? No, no. Kalahati litro? No. 100 in L? No. Hindi pa rin, siguro no? Ibang lagayan eh. Baka kibul spoon, di ba? How about dito? Pwede. Pwede? Pwede 100? 200? Ang tanong ko ay hindi kung magkano ang binigay mo, kundi magkano ang sukatan. Ang lagayan na binigay mo. What is your lagayan? What is your tithes? What is your giving? Ano bang sukatan mo? Ito ba o ito? Kita mo nga malaki. Pero giving mo na lang, malikit. Pero pag bumili ka, para sa sarili mo, sobra-sobra. Di ba? Did you consider that one? Anong sukatan mo? It's not about the church, don't worry. Malaki man maliit ang tights mo, pati yung parehas welto ko. Hindi yung problematan. I'm teaching you how to live the right lifestyle. No? I don't care. I don't care whether it's 1 GD, kung 10 GD naman yung kita mo, 1 GD yung bigay mo, I don't care. It's important is you give the right portion with what is measured to you. Di ba? Tapos natatakin ka, Lord, bakit hindi ako nakatagap na maraming pagpapala? Because you are not taking the word of God according to His word. Right? Now, anong sabi ng, saan mo ba yung kwanto? Now, anong sabi ng isang Libro. This is not a Christian book, ha? Pero sinabi niya, So often, go! So often, I hear people say, Well, I'll take you to some time to come to the church. But I felt that I was a sign of a sign of a church. I was a sign of a church. Okay, tingnan nyo. I give, I tell you first, ang laki naman binigay ko, Pastor, pero walang parini. Now, there's a right way and a good way to give. Pastor, grabe na yung pagpapainom ko eh. Grabe na yung halos lumaklak na nga yung mga kasamahan ko eh. That's giving, Pastor. Yes, that's giving. But the wrong way. Did you get my point, mga kapatid? It's not because it's giving, you have just, you know, ganun na lang. No, no. You have to give the right way. Now, another, another portion sinabi niya. When we give to a person or group of persons where we are retarding progress, we are wasting our substance. What is that retarding or pro, uh, what is that retarding progress? Yung nagbibigay ka, ganun pa rin ang nangyayari sa kanya. Those people who are not helping themselves. Bigay ka ng bigay, bigay ka ng bigay. And they are not doing anything with the thing that you have given. Tambay pa rin, nakatunganga pa rin. It will never profit you anyway. Kaya nga, do not give a man a fish. Teach him how to fish. Right? Where we give to one who doesn't put forth the effort to help himself. Go. We need to be honest and wait for you to see someone who doesn't have to help himself. That is the promise of the time of us. Not give the only substance to the one who will not help himself. Please try. Please try. Later time, I will not be able to forgive. But what will you do when you see the Jesus? Kung hindi ka na makapagbigay, sabi, ano ba yan? Kuripo? 
Eh, bagay, bigay ka ng bigay. Nung tinigilan mo na ang pagbibigay, sinabihan ka na ng uripot. Madamot. Kasi, they are not helping you there's themselves. And it will not really bless you. It will not bless you at all. Give someone to those who are trying themselves to help themselves. Or try to help themselves. Okay ba yun? Hindi siya mabigat yata yung pastor. Hindi lahat ang hiwi tama. No? Pastor, krabi na, nagpapakain naman ako, pastor, eh, ganito, ganyan. Halos araw-araw nga nagpapaparte ako. Sino yung pinapapatihan mo? Eh, yung mga kamangkano, pastor, masinggo. It will never profit. It's not really for the first thing I look at. Another. Ano, sin- ano sinabi nyo? Jesus? Yes. God is feeding because they were seeking good. They are seeking after God. And they are not begging for food. Kaya nga, minsan, masarap ang mabigay sa mga beggars, but if it will never help them, you know, kung sa Pilipinas tayo, we are just helping the crime. Isang krimen kaya yan. Uhulihin ka kaya kung magbibigay ka doon sa tabi, tabi-tabi. Hindi nyo ba alam yun sa Metro Manila? May mga batas na ganun? Oh. No. Kapag magbibigay ka, it might be ikaw pa yung makukulong. Bakit? You are helping a crime. Because it's a syndicate. Mga bata pa ang gagamitin. Right? Eh, kung meron ka isang limong bata at kahit kikita lang yan na sampu-sampu, ulit na din daw sa pili. Isipin mo yan. Eh, magkano lang kain yan? Right? So, I, I, I don't mean na hindi na kayo magbibigay. What I mean is, give to the right institution. Yes. Foundation, kung ano man yan ang institution, orphanages, pulo-owa, kung ano man yan. Give the right gift. I am taking, I am taking this word seriously. No? Because I want you to understand, we have to take the word of God by His word. Do not throw your go. See? Clear ba yan, mga kapatid? Para ka natatapon ang kanila sa bago eh. Hindi ka na-appreciate that one. Oh, hindi yung kura lang. Anong, anong, wala sila pakialam. Hindi ka na-appreciate it. Binigyan mo na nga. Reklamo na rin ang pagkakalita. Binigyan mo ng tin fills? Tinahapon pa yung tin fills kasi gusto. Nos nito talaga. One GD. Ano ba kung batang to? Ano? Doon ka na lang kaya mag- But did you know, when I'm walking, a certain person nagbibinta, bulaga, nagbibinta, nakita ko sa Garden Street, nagbibinta. My heart was touched. I said, I want to help this person. Why? Because this person is doing the best that he can to improve himself. He's not making for food. Bulang na eh. Yung iba dyan, kaya pa nang tumayo, kaya pa maglakad, hindi na hingi. Samatala yung siya, bulang na na, kaganong gano'n pa, nabibinta pa ng birds of wisdom feather flock together. Yung duster, feather duster, no? Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 to 10. Pakibasa po. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Ang sabi ng Biblia, we have to honor the Lord. In what way? In our substance. And he said, first fruit. Huwag bigyan ang tira-tira ang Lord. Di ba? Give God what is right, not what is left. Tira-tira na lang na tira. Nakuha ni? Ah, met na lang. Sanit na lang kumuha. But God wants to be honored by our substance. Yes. And the first fruits of all the increase. This is my challenge. If you haven't tried tithes, tithes ay ikapupo ng mga alay. No? Tithes is the 10% of what you earn. That is increase, no? Increase yan siya. Give the first fruit or the 10% of what you earn and start to watch what the Lord will do in your life. Let go and let God. And look how your life prosper in due time. Amen. I started my tithes. Alam niyo, magkatong kita ko, nung nag-aaral pa lang ako, piso ang aking baon araw-araw. 
So, linggo-linggo, meron akong 5 peso. So, meron akong tithes na 50 centavos. Doon ako natagpisa ng ikapu ko. Binabalot ko yan, nilalagyan ko all J. And one year, not knowing, yung pasto namin aalis na at pinakita lahat ng givings, doon, I really praise the Lord for that improvement. Bakit? Yung teacher ko sa grade 2, mas malaki pa yung tights ko. <laughs> Ay, hindi ko na, hindi ako lang mamayabang. It only means, yung teacher ko, hindi nagbibigay ng ikapo. Siguro, nilagay niya yung tights, 20 pesos, may 20 pesos tights. I don't know. But I give faithfully my tights. Anong ginagawa ko pag, pag, ano yun, yung sa, pag halimbawa, may, may ani, di ba? Ang, ang tawag namin yun eh. Ano yun sa Tagalog? Nagagalog ka doon sa mga, mm-hmm. like, tapos, mm-hmm. oh, sa palay, tapos yung, di ba, may malalaglan doon, binibenta namin yun. So, pag may matira doon, tapos, kunting, ganun sa lula ko, lula, pahingi na tayo, isang, ganun lang doon sa, ali, sa isang, yun, ganun na. Tagdag, ay nako, one fourth sack na yan, di ba? Malaking pera na yan. Sunod ko yung kunti sa, tayo sa lamang, bigay na namin ka It doesn't matter how big or small the tithe is. Start to become faithful with that. Amen. Amen. I try. Amen. No? Subukan niyo po. Amen. Bakit? Ang sabi naman, buti na natin. Ah, mamaya na mula. Proverbs po na yun. Uh, Malaka yun. There is that scatter and yet increase it. it. Uh-huh. And there is that withhold it more than is meat, but it tinted it to poverty. Yung iba, bigay na bigay, sumusobra. Yung iba, tago na tago, kinukulang. Papansin niyo ba yan sa buhay natin? Yes, amen. Pagbili kayo ng tights. Koy, salabong na kasi walang tiyan na eh. Buong linggo, kaya ka rin. Hindi na rin tumatay. Malaki ang balik na binigay mo, di ba? What matters? Pero do you serve your life? Nung naging kurit mo ka, lalo nahihirap. Hindi ko sinasabi, bigay mo lahat si Mahag, ibigay mo lahat. No, no. What I mean is, plan your giving. Ay, plan mo ka ba sa pagbibigay? Yes. O yung, ah, may tira pa naman eh. Yun ang bibigay ko. You have to plan your giving. Verse 25. The liberals of gold. The liberals of gold shall be saved. He that will trade shall be saved. Siyang nagbibigay, ay nagbibigay din. Siyang liberal na nagbibigay, ay tataba. Her soul will be fat. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians. But this is saying, he shall reap also bountifully. He shall reap also bountifully. Every man according to purpose in his heart. Now, find out of this kind of giving. Said, kung magbibigay ka, gives, if you give sparingly, or kukunti lang, kukunti lang din ang ani. Kung malaki ang binigay mo, malaki din ang ani. It, it doesn't mean about 18,000 yung binigay niya, malaki talaga ang ani. No, hindi yun sa amount. It means the percentage that you have. No? What is left to you? Magkano na ba ang natira? Kasi ang sukat na magbibigay, hindi sa amount. Naalala niyo yung isang babae balo? At tapos yung isang mayaman? Nagbibigay. Tapos isang balong naman kasi wala na talaga. Tundinari na lang. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, sino ang napakalaki ang bigay? Sabi nila. Sabi ng Lord. Siguro sa isip-isip naman isa ko, yung tao talaga kasi malaki eh. Di ba? Marami eh. Ganun-ganun yung pera eh. May silga, may gold pa siguro yun eh. Sabi ng Lord, yung tao, yung tira-tira na lang niya, binigay niya. May aman yun eh. Yung babae, dalawang dinari, binigay niya ang buong Buhay, buong pera. Hindi na matter sa laki ko ito. But it is the condition of the heart. Takuan yung point? Hindi sa laki ng amo. But it is the condition of the heart. Every man according as he purposes. It is a plan giving. According to what you purpose, you have to give. So let him give na sinabi kasi pastor kasi nagturo lang tayo si magbigay na lang ako. Wala bibili na niya lang magbigay because necessity? No. Ano sabi ng Biblia? Give cheerfully. Why? God and God is able to make all grace about toward you that He always have it Take note. Gawin mo ito at sinabi ng Lord I will give you all sufficiency. Yes. You have sufficient enough. Amen. 
Hindi ka kukunanin kundi sufficient sa pangailangan mo ang ibibigay at ipagkakaloob ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Ano yung pastor? Ibigay ko lang ganito. Hindi ka mag-alala kasi ang nagsasahod sa hindi yan sila. Diyos ang nagsasahod sa atin. Hindi ko ba? What is tithing? Again, what is tithing? Do we consider God as our partner? Yes! Ano yung isabi ng business partner? Kung kasosyo tayo sa negosyo, hindi kita bibigyan ng share mo sa palagay mo sa next time makikipag-share ka pa sa akin. Hindi na ah! Eh, ang ganda nga ng partnership natin sa Panginoon, binigyan niya lahat sa ating lakas, ganito ganyan. Magkano hiningi? It's a Tapos hindi pa natin ibibigay? Right? When I started partnership, I understand this principle well. Kung anong pinimahan namin doon, meron kaming, how many investors we have? I think, five investors in our first business. We, we stated that pagkatapos noon, ay madahati kami, bawat isa ng 20%, no? Yun yung hatihan, one-fifth person. I have to fulfill my word or else they will not invest again on my business. Or either, kukunin nila yung investment nila at sana kukuha ng pera pang virus in-invest nila. Did you get my point? Yes. yes. Kung kaya, kung ganun kaya ang gagawin ng Lord sa atin din, ay hindi ka na bigay na kay Pulo. Ikaw po, kunin ko yung investment ko sa'yo. Ano mo hiyari? Tanggalizing. Tanggalizing. Tanggal, magpakala. Did end. Tithing is partnering with God. So, anong sabi ng Bible? This is a clear instruction. Malakay chapter 3 verse 8 to 12. Hinati natin siya para at least uh, tingnan natin kung uh, 8 to 10 at saka 11 to 12. Tingnan natin. Una. The answer, the question is, pwede ba magnakaw ang tao sa Diyos? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Ang sinabi ng Biblia, yet, yeah. 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 Minakawan niyo ako. Saan? Sa ikapu at mga alay. Pwede pa lang magnakaw ang tao sa Diyos. Yes. Hindi mo kukunin yung gate doon, tatanggalin mo, ta- dadali mo dito sa lupa. Hindi ka magnakaw sa ganun. Saan natin ninakaw yan? Sa pamamagitan ng ating tithes and offerings. Patuloy! Okay. Kayo ay cursed beyond the curse dahil ninakawan ninyo ako. So curse happens because people are robbing after God. Next. Bring all the tithes to the storehouse. Sinabi niya, all the tithes. Pastor, hinati ko, pastor eh. Bakit? Humingi yung gabit bahay namin eh. Sabi na Biblia, bring your tithes to the storehouse. The? That there may be in my house and prove me now. Take note. He said, prove me now. Subukin niyo ako. Subukan. Okay. Subukan nyo lang. Gawin nyo ito at gagawin ko ito. Prove me now. Here we. Sino may sabi? The Lord of hosts. Window or windows? Windows! Ay, napakaraming din. Amen! 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 We seek, we seek, or four out? Four out! Hindi po we seek, we seek. Wuhos po ang pagkapala. Promise! Yung bahay mo napakalit yan. Paano ko manggap na maraming pagkapala? Church, kung susundin natin ang kaloob ng Diyos, magtataka ka. Yung dating investment mo, ngayon lumalaki na. Yung gusto mo naman, kasi nyo ngayon, next week, tumagdad na naman. Because God fulfilled His promises. If you will take the word of God in His word, that is what we call faith.